no how means no agricultural waste. No how project aims to contribute to shift from a linear economy to a circular economy. What's that? By consuming in a linear way, we are exhausting non-renewable resources such as oil and accumulating waste such as carbon dioxide or plastic in the air, in the soil, in the oceans. A sustainable consumption requires shifting to a circular economy by closing the loop, which means using waste as raw materials and thereof eradicating resources, exhaustion and waste accumulation. While there is a strong demand to substitute petrol-derived energy, chemicals and plastic materials, only a few percentage are bio-based. And above all, available bioenergy and bioproduct use noble food resources. The big question is, is an eco-friendly consumption for a half of the planet ever justified to take the risk of starving the other half of the world? In 2016, under the leadership of INRA, a consortium of 32 partners, private and public partners, all over Europe, in collaboration with China mainland, but also Hong Kong and Taiwan, decided to start putting into practice circular economy with the financial supports of the European Commission. They decided to consider agricultural waste as true continuously generated resources, which represents an untapped potential of 86 million ton oil equivalent. Know-how projects aim to convert more than 75% of agricultural waste, such as straw, manures, vine stalk, wine residues, uh, into bioenergy, biofertilizer, bioplastic and biomolecules. Our objective is to substitute non-food crops use, to contribute to oil resource saving, to increase renewable energy and materials, to eliminate waste accumulations such as non-biodegradable plastic, to reduce the negative impact of uh, inappropriate agro-waste management such as unbalanced nutrient distribution and contaminant accumulation. The very first step is to put the stakeholders at the core of the know-how strategy by setting up an open European knowledge exchange stakeholder platforms and its mirror platform in Asia. The Red Package 1 is about linking everybody together. We are in a project about circular economy and Red Package 1 is the part of the project which is responsible for circular information. So we put several tasks together to make uh, industry, stakeholders, scientists constructively work together, exchange information very fluidly, very rapidly, and uh, create momentum uh, to mobilize in a sustainable way the engagement of industry actors, mostly, so that they take up everything that has been developed in the project and then continue to carry on after the project uh, has finished. My part as a farmer is uh, to see what we can do better to reduce waste or negative impacts from the activities we do on our farms. Especially to reduce uh, nitrogen leach into groundwater or into the air. With near-infrared spectroscopy we can analyze the nutrient content of manure or digestate online and we know what we put on the fields. The second step of the project aims to generate knowledge and tools able to support environmentally responsible innovation on agro-waste conversions at different technological readiness levels. 
in the light of regional and seasonal specificities, without forgetting risk emerging from circular management of waste, such as contaminant accumulations or organic sector specificities. Work package two, it's on sustainable uh, evaluation of the sustainability of the developed processes and products within the world project. And uh, in addition, we also will provide an early design tool uh, to direct or guide decision, research decisions in, in the other work packages. So that's uh, our main objective in this project. Uh, one of our concrete activities within Work Package 2 will be new conceptualization and waste management for the winery Aleksandrovic uh, in Serbia. This will be based on uh, spatial territorial analysis of the winery area of some 75 hectares coverage. It means physical, geographical, spatial and the natural conditions analysis, types, quantities and flows of waste of winery Aleksandrovic and their industry. The third step and the work package of the NOAA project focuses on uh, improving uh, the existing anaerobic digestion process, also called methanization, to convert agricultural residues into bioenergy and biofertilizer. The objective is to improve its eco-efficiency and applicability, taking care of geographical and seasonal distribution, of agro-waste pre-treatment opportunity, but also of soil requirements and environmental concerns. In World Package 3, we have anaerobic digestion at the center of the picture. This is because in this moment we have 15,000 anaerobic digesters working at farm scale in Europe. So it is a proven technology, it is already part of the agricultural sector and is there. So what we are going to do is to improve this process by the application of different systems like, for example, two AD processes where we can produce hydrogen and methane at the same time in order to have bioethane, which is a biofuel for the automotive sector, or we can use microbial cells in order to upgrade the biogas to have biomethane. Another very important point is dedicated to the treatment of pre or post treatment of the feedstock in order to enlarge the platform of feedstock we can use. A last point very important is dedicated to the reuse of digestate which is full of nutrients which can be recycled back to the fields for crops growth in order to have a really renewable digestate and renewable fertilizer. Having the anaerobic digestion as the main platform we can take advantage of that because in the anaerobic digestion it's possible to also produce volatile fatty acids at high concentration that are the most suitable substrate to produce biopolymers and in particular polyhydroxyalkanoids, PHA, uh, who are good candidates to replace at least partially the oil-based plastics. The fourth work package of know-how is devoted to step up to a sustainable agro-waste biorefinery concept by tackling agro-waste complexity and heterogeneity and investigating a range of eco-efficient conversion routes before and after the anaerobic digestion to produce a large portfolio of high added value molecules and materials. Work package 4 is a technical work package that aims to build an agro-waste bioraffinery platform around anaerobic digestion. We want to develop innovative routes to convert agro-waste in new biochemicals, additive fillers, biomaterials such as biopolymers and biocomposites, bioenergy and biofertilizer. So basically I collect the fruit and vegetable waste. Then we are going to perform sustaining acid fermentation. So that means we are trying to convert this fruit and vegetable waste into sustaining acid. In the fifth work package of the project, a business marketing strategy and a cross-sectorial vision will be developed to bridge the gap 
between agro-waste science and business opportunity in order to promote agro-waste industrial ecology concept. For developing practical business on the waste streams, the entrepreneurs have to learn about new markets. They are dependent on uh, business development, so there will be uh, total uh, other dependencies on, uh, on new parties uh, in their uh, business. And for this we are developing uh, business models and we are uh, helping them in identifying opportunities and how to uh, go around with uncertainties and uh, uh, how scale size of their business might affect the uh, feasibility of uh, uh, waste stream valorization. So at the end of the overall project, the cascade of agro-waste valorization that will be selected will most probably imply cross-chain valorization and most certainly we will have to deal with geographical, territorial and seasonal constraints. The, the main objective we have in Work Package 5 is to create the conditions and propose innovative uh, business concepts so that these overall ecosystems can be deployed, let's say. NOAO project will provide breakthrough knowledge, holistic approach, decision support tool, as well as technical and stakeholder platform to bring advances on appropriate management strategy of the complex agro-waste chains. NOAO offers a new vision aligned with the principle of circular economy to inspire the future generation of farmers, agronomists or food actors to reshape the meaning and the use of agricultural crops. Do not hesitate to contact us or consult our website. You will always be welcome to participate.